Good day guys, Bing here, and today we're going to model a, a shape like this one. Oops, sorry, wrong. <laughs> this one. Okay, so so this is the shape. Okay, so it looks quite like um, it's quite simple, but uh, uh, maybe not. Okay, so let's start. Um, so first, uh, I'm going to model it as a conceptual mass. Okay, so okay, so first step, we need two points. Okay, so th this is a because it's it's actually a a, a straight. Okay, so just use some a uh, profile and twist the profile and create this shape. Okay, so select these two points and create a line and make it reference line. Okay, so now place another two point. Sorry, uh, I think four points. Draw on face. So one. Oh, sorry, one point first. Okay, so and then reference rectangle. Draw a work plan. Set work plan. Pick the vertical work plan of this point, okay, and then draw a rectangle. So now dimension, uh, only dimension to the point, and then select these two dimension and create. I'll call it a W one instance or whatever type. Okay, select these two. W2 instance as well, maybe. Okay, so now go to family type. So let's say W1, half of the short edge. So let's say maybe 3 meter. And uh, W2, maybe um, 5 meter. And okay. Okay, so this is one of the profile. So now we just need one here one here, one here, and one here, okay, so CC, select everything, point, reference line, and dimension, copy, and we, we need more, so you can just check this amount, not multiple, so don't worry about the dimension, select this point, pick your host, pick this, okay, select this point, oops, select this point again, pick new, and pick new host. Okay, so now select this point. So this point needs to go here. So you can type here, you can see it's close to zero. So just type in zero on this one, type in one. Okay, so, and then just let's guess this maybe a 0 0.3, okay? And this then 0 0.7. Okay, so now let's twist this profile so select this point type in 90 degree okay so this one and actually when you select uh, select there are actually two points here so just need to pick this one yep so the one with the uh, rotation angle parameter 90 degree so now okay so now if we select all of these you will see what the shape is actually not what we want, want, want to create so it's not right let's dissolve it so what we need to do is select these two points and change them back to one okay and then create this shape so now Robert will understand okay we're going to create this shape and then select I'll just H H this uh, form and then select these two points rotate them by 90 degrees so now it's hr so you will see this is the shape but it's not perfect uh, so if you if you look at here so so let's go back to so this is straight line okay so and this uh, same as this one straight line but this geometry so you will see it's it's all curved so no this is not good dissolve it 
So what we need to do is we just need to copy this CC and place another profile just next to it. So I'm going to just place it here and then I'll just type in. So, so um, this one is 0 0.3, so I'm going to type 0 0.29, something like that. Okay, so and same this one CC. Oops, sorry, uh, too close. And pick new host, and this one will be uh, 0.71. And of, of course, the same. We will uh, we need to, to rotate them back and back to zero. Otherwise, uh, the shape uh, won't be the one we. Uh, Hang on, what's going on here? Oh, sorry. When you select the profile, uh, so when you select this profile, make sure you just click it. If you click it, you will usually be able to select all of them. Okay, but if you drag, if you use the drag, select, and then you will only select one. Okay, see. But if you click on it, so it will pick all of them. So just pick, control pick, and. Um, and create form. So now, and then just H H, select the point, and also this select one of them. Okay, so rotate it, rotate them by ninety degrees. H R. So now this is now this uh the edge is flat. Almost. Uh, it's not one hundred percent, but uh, yeah, if you you can just move you can even move this point closer to this point so for example 0 0.701 something like that very close to that and that the more the closer this edge will be close uh flat more uh flatter okay so straighter anyway so i'll just uh, uh maybe i'll just move this one as well so 0. Point, oops 0. 0.299 uh, HR. Okay, so now this is the shape. So now let's um, we're going to go back. So see, we're going to create uh, these uh, tex texture, these panel uh, cladding. Okay, so let's, okay, so first I'm going to do is divide surface. Okay. And maybe not the end one. I'll delete that one and delete this one. So now select. Um, so I'll select everything here. Filter and divide surface. So I'm going to turn off one of the grid. I'm not sure which one. I'll just try this one. Yes. So and then I'm going to increase the number of this. Okay. So maybe 150. Okay, so and also well, when you change this, I just found this tip. Tip. So if you change this from fixed number to fixed distance, oops, sorry, because they are different. Uh, if I pick one of them, so you will find this is number which give gives us the the. Oh, sorry, this is the distance. Us the 150 number. So if you change this to fixed distance, you know roughly the the distance is what the distance is. So you know that um, if you change this to 400, you will be a uh, slightly more than 150, maybe 160 or 70. So what I'm going to do is um, I will just select all of this divided surface and and oh, tab, 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 yeah. and change this to a uh, fixed distance, fixed distance, and I'll use 400. Okay, so now we can place some uh, panel on it. So I'll just quickly create a um. Uh, pattern-based family. 
Okay, so first I'm going to try this. So I simply just select these four reference line, create form, and the thickness maybe like let's say uh, 200. Okay, 200 thickness, and load this into the here, and then select all the divided surface surface and switch this to this uh, pattern based family so let's have a look okay so you you will see it all looks okay but here so you will see it's very smooth it's very smooth it's even I think it's even a little bit curved maybe so this is not what we want so we want what we want is this okay so the reason why they are smooth um, it's because if if I edit family, so see these four, these four they are actually here they are on a flat plane, okay. But in this mass, they are on different plane, and then um, that's the reason we create actually create uh, something curved instead of. Uh, and also it's not triangular shape you will see uh, if, if I rotate to this angle you will see it's a slightly um, diagonal it's not a, a square a, rect or a rectangle shape okay so what we need to do is we can we can just so I'll just uh, select this form and I'll dissolve it so we just need to um, Change the change the uh, the method of of this form. Instead of select all these four, we only select use two of the points. Okay, we only use two points, and then create. We we will be able to create a straight a straight um solid a form. Okay, so let's do it. So first place point draw on work plan and set work plan so uh, actually I'm not sure which two we should pick I'll just uh, guess okay so I'll place one on this point and also I'll place another one on this point so now if I select them in offset I'll type in 200 because uh, this is the thickness right and then select these two points create a spline and reference sign select these two points spline reference sign and also these two spline reference sign okay so now we can select one two three three reference line together with this one control select so this will give us a rectangle shape okay and then create a form so this this will make sure this is a um, it's a what do we call this? It's a not a you know uh, irregular shape. It will be always all a uh, right angle. Um, okay. So and also uh, I want to, to I, because I know that um, in this mass that's four hundred. So I'll just select click on this face and type in four hundred. Don't worry about that. Okay, so now let's load this into this mess and wait and see. Yes. So this is what we want. Right, and of course you can change the weight, uh, change the thickness, 
if you like. You can also change the width of the these panels. Okay. So that's it. Um, I just want to uh, let you know that um, if you um, if you have any questions or suggestions, so if you can um, go to my YouTube channel, so uh, you can go to community, and you can always uh, post. Uh, maybe a lead come here. So this will be the easiest way for me to find because a lot of time that's too um, many um, comments and also uh, emails. Um, it's a little bit hard to find things. Okay, so just uh, hang here and post your comment. at your comment here. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.